Well, I tell you what, we've got an awfully young team. Um, you know, and you'll probably hear me say this quite a few times, but 12 or 13 players have played a year or less at the University of Missouri. And so, um, you know, just a lot of inexperience there. Uh, but it's been really positive, um, you know, that we don't have a lot of size. Um, but we've got kids that are really passionate about the game, uh, that their work ethic has been outstanding. Um, We've, we've certainly got a long ways to go, but I, I like I like where we're at. I think our leadership has been really good. Um, I think these are kids that can really help us continue to lay a foundation as we build a program at the University of Missouri. Uh, any yeah, players in particular that have impressed you so far that are going to have to be leaders for this team? Uh, is it, do you have high expectations? Well, you know, again, just being so young, I think there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of question marks. Uh, We've always relied very heavily on our point guards to really step into that leadership role. And we've got uh, our, our point guard actually is a sophomore, Kylie Simmons. Uh, she started every game last year, played a lot of minutes, uh, was on the uh, Big 12 all-freshman team. And so um, got a lot of experience and has done a tremendous job. She brings a lot of energy, um, a lot of toughness, a lot of grit. And um, yeah, I think she's so well respected by by all of our kids uh, on our roster. We've got a freshman that I think is going to step up and and certainly make some noise for us. Leanna Doty is doing a tremendous job as well. Um, yeah, I think she's a natural leader for us. I think oftentimes you find that in your point guard position. Coach, talk about uh, as we get to start conference SEC play uh, and conference play in January, February. Talk about the importance of. Uh, You know, I think every team, um, you know, when you schedule your non-conference, you've really got to look at what your team needs at that point. And, um, you know, we're not at the point where we can go out and play all top 25 programs right now. We're a young, inexperienced team. Uh, we need to be challenged. Uh, certainly the SEC is, um, you know, arguably the toughest league in the country, uh, but we also need to build some confidence. And so I think we've got a nice balance of that with our non-conference schedule. There's not a game on our schedule that's going to be easy for us this year uh, with the youth that we have, but I think it's a non-conference schedule that can certainly help prepare us, build some confidence, challenge us, and um, and then you've got the SEC and uh, certainly got some tough games on, on that schedule, but looking forward to the challenges. I know uh, coaches schedule these, I'm sure you'd like to come back with three wins, but talk about and what that really means and what you hope to get out of that trip. You know, I think oftentimes um, when you, you – everyone wants to play at home. Everyone wants to play at home in front of your home crowd, and there's some, some great value in that. But I also think – Traveling with your team, um, it really allows for some some team bonding to take place. Uh, you know, you're removed from classes. Um, you know, just from the the busyness day to day that you the routines that you get into um, in your dorm room on campus, and it allows us to really come together as a team. And so, I think the 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 chemistry that's formed when you travel is so important, and just also uh, a chance to play um, some competition that you usually don't get to play. Um, you know, I, I like who we're playing in, in Cancun, I think it's going to definitely challenge us. Uh, you've got Green Bay, who's uh, done a tremendous job over the last several years, a Big Ten team in, in Minnesota, and then Wichita State, that's uh, a staff that's been there for a while, that's built a very strong program, a very athletic team. So playing three days in a row is obviously going to be tough, but um, I, I think the experience uh, for our young kids is going to be so valuable.